Hello my friends, today we are going to talk about how uh, you could create custom indicator uh, in vector bt. It's very useful for us because we could use uh, some trading logic in uh, vector bt architecture to find uh, the best combination because in the previous video we developed some ideas uh, to create multi-time frame trading strategy uh, but we need to um, find uh, this, uh, the best combination by handle. And it's very, very um, hardly for, for me to, f to do it, to imagine some parameters. We need more coding and, and to solve the trading problem quickly. So let's do it. For this reason, we need uh, to use. Uh, vector uh, indicator factory from vector bt so let's do it the first uh, we need to download data from binance it would be one minute interval for bitcoin uh, usdt let's do it and in this reason uh, in this case uh, we're going to use uh, um, vector bt do to download data set okay it would be one minute uh, bars so for the last uh, seven days. Next, we need to create some custom indicators. So let's define this logic. I would like uh, to find multiply of combination on my trading logic. I would like to use two data frame. It would be the first data frame. It would be one minute, and we're going to calculate uh, RSI for for this uh, data frame. Next, we need to define another data frame. It will be a data frame with five minutes bars. And we also calculate RSI indicators for this data, data set. Next, we need to create signal. Also, I would like uh, to make optimization RSI window because uh, uh, I need to find the best window to build this indicator, RSI, I mean. Next, I would like to optimize some, tr some uh, trading idea uh, for top and down uh, argument. And you see uh, when we should to buy or sell. So you see, we have multiply arguments when we could uh, uh, optimize as uh, this one uh, to find the best uh, parameters in this re reason we should to use indicator factory when we define this trading logic here uh, then an idea also uh, you could find some bug so when you take data from uh, from Vector BT, when you download data, you sh it should be time series, not Pandas data frame. And also, we should return signal in NumPy and array. Okay, so let's do it. Next, we need to define our indicator factory. It would be some class name, short name, it's combination. I take this data from documentation. Next, we need to define param names. It would be our argument for our strategy. And you see, I would like to, uh, to, to find the best parameters for one minutes bar and for five minutes bar to create indicator and find some trading logic here. It, it would be a multiply of combination and I should find the best parameters for this trading strategy. Okay, and uh, this argument uh, we should uh, it should be uh, equal true because uh, we need to take pandas data frame and these indicators. And you see, uh, we're going to take indicator factory class. You see, this is a class, and uh, in this class uh, we define parameters and call from apply function to apply this argument. The first argument would be our trading logic. 
custom indicator. Uh, I make some commit uh, to, uh, to understand what is it. Next, we need to define uh, our indicators. It would be this is this object of class int, and we should run this one. Let's look in. Run. Okay, it takes arguments from this one. This is class method. Okay. It means we should take um, our price, it would be BTC price, and we defined a combination of our parameters. For example, let's test when um, uh, when we should to sell Bitcoin uh, when RSI between 60 and 19 with step 10 you could change these parameters uh, um, for example with step 1 it takes more time to uh, calculation you should explore this one this uh, part uh, of code okay so I defined uh, this parameters so to find the best combination next we need to define trading logic and you see uh, this uh, when we return signal like numpy array I define signal to buy when we have this logic it would be a signal one it means that I should buy and next minus one it would be a signal for short position or close to a long position. Okay, so I define entries, exits, entry short, exit short because I'm going to trade in both direction. And next, I indicate uh, we create our portfolio. I indicate our uh, our data with uh, Bitcoin price and define. Uh, that we are going to trade in both direction and defined commission okay next we create returns object it would be a total return of all our parameters and results of all our parameters and we defined uh, the maximum results and index of this maximum it means we should return index of this data it would be our indicate our parameters uh, the best parameters i, I mean six it would be top one okay let's do it it takes some times okay let's wait okay so let's define these parameters in our trading strategy okay and we also could analyze uh, profit zone and loss zone using 3d map to understand how it works how our parameters uh, is working okay uh, you could make uh, some research here to understand uh, uh, more deeply how it working it's look like gradient and deep learning to find some an area with the best uh, solution okay let's do let's do a backtest our strategy we're going to use our indicator survey and we indicate all the best parameters you see from here Okay, let's do it. What happens? It takes some time. I would like to see what is being rate, for example. Okay, it's very nice. Profit factor uh, is very big because uh, we have a small data set. It's very big profit factor. And total return is also very nice. Batch marker is minus uh, 15% okay max drawdown is only three percent okay best rate okay best rate it it was one trade when we get uh, when we get 
half half of our results okay we should uh, pay attention on this uh, uh, coefficient to understand uh, um, our strategy okay let's do plots and you see we find some uh, the best parameters what working and you could use uh, this uh, code uh, for your target uh, and to make research it could be uh, uh, very nice uh, tricks uh, how to use vector bt to achieve uh, some uh, good experience uh, to create uh, uh, trading strategy so guys if you like this video subscribe on my youtube channel and see you next time bye